Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Prunus J401. This is an AM, FM, shortwave, portable radio with MP3 player and recorder. You can get these on Amazon for approximately $16.99, and sometimes there's a 10% off coupon, bringing that price down to around $15. Bucks. Not a bad deal. Uh, so let's check it out. It's basically a redesigned V115. If you guys don't know what a V115 is, um, most of you do, here's a V115. Okay, and uh, we'll talk about some of the improvements that Prunus did to the radio. A lot of you guys own this radio. A lot of you guys like it. Some of you don't like it. It just depends. And we'll go over what's good and what's not on the new one and uh, how it compares to the old one. So, yeah. Let's look at the box here. Prunus 401 AM FM shortwave recording MP3 lyric. Okay. Cool. Comes in this cool box. Prunus does make a nice little presentation on the boxing. I do like that. On the back here. We got some information because the uh, SD card support to 32 gigabytes, micro SD, I should say. There's the resolution for the LCD screen. Some band information I do want to point out. They say 87 to 108, but this particular radio uh, does 76 to 108. So you get a little bit of an expanded FM band. Shortwave is what they say 4.75 megahertz to 21.85 megahertz. And then it shows presets um, 60, 80, and then 100, respectively. Now on shortwave, it actually is 300, but uh, you're never going to use that many. <laughs> um, again, some information there, which we'll go over. So let's open this up and get to it, because there's a lot of features in this bad boy, just like the V115. Let's get this open. Oh, it's packed pretty tight there. Okay, so they have some instructions here in color. We'll go over those. Let's see what we get in the box. We get a, it looks like a charging cable. Yeah, I'm going to look at that in a second. The radio. All right, so looks like they got a little foam size to protect the radio. We got a patch cable for line in. This is nice. It records uh, from devices, and we'll talk about that. It does a great job. And it's got a card. How can we help you deliver the delivery quality servicing? Okay. I'm the one that can't pronounce things correctly. And QR codes there, which you probably won't be able to use with your camera, but there you are. There's some information and some kind of scratch-off thing. Okay, it could be my lucky day. It always is my lucky day with you guys <laughs> watching my videos. All right, so the box is empty. There we are. Let's set that aside. Let's see. We, like I said, get a patch cable. Yay. Get a charging cable. It's a micro USB variety. Let me show you. There you go. Um, I don't know what these look like. First time I've seen one. <laughs> Most of you guys know that's a joke. Some of you are like, what are you laughing about? Um, USB to micro USB. That's how you charge it. Okay. Oh, also, how you interface it to the computer. This radio acts as a PC speaker, and you can access your SD card. Though it's a bit slow using this connection to the radio, I recommend taking the SD card out and using a dedicated reader. But you can, if you have to, in a pinch to manage your files. But I like using it as a PC speaker once in a while, too. It's nice. All right, so instructions. Yay, destructions. Let's see what we got. They do it in, like, a page format. I don't know. I can show you on camera here. Um, we'll pretty much go over all these functions. Um, the way they did these instructions, it's kind of hard to show on camera. But you get the basic idea here. Um, they're showing like what the buttons do and everything. And there's some specifications there, which is pretty much on the box. And the back of the radio and the side of the radio. So, yeah, I'll show you. The, let's just get to the radio. <laughs> it's in a plastic sleeve. I do like to see that. Uh, the battery came separate, the BL5C, in the box. So I put it in there already. Uh, so yeah, we'll set this down. We'll do some dimensions. And then we'll start talking about features, because this thing is feature-laden. Uh, really cool stuff going on. All right, so dimensions. Uh, we are 5 and 3 eighths of an inch in length. We're 3 and 1 eighths of an inch in height. We have a depth of 1 and 1 quarter inch. Pretty cool. Let's do some size comparisons. I always like to do that. Got to bring this back up, of course. What do we have handy? CC Pocket in the house. So one thing I noticed right away is this radio is wider than the typical V115. It's much thicker. So uh, what I'm going to do here is kind of show you. You guys are seeing some fun stuff here that's new and different. The V115 next to the 
the new Prunus. Now, some people might like the idea of the older V115 being slimmer. Okay, um, I'm kind of a fan. It makes it more pocket friendly. Look out! Look at the difference there. Definitely shorter and everything. But <laughs> this is more table friendly, and actually, I like this style a lot. We'll talk about that. So there's that, and of course, you know, we can't forget about CC Skywave SSB. Here we go. <laughs> Been using this one quite a bit. I like it. Get you an idea for size again. Get the same width to it. Yeah, you get an idea. And of course, uh, what? Oh yeah, Iron Man. You guys aren't gonna forget that, are you? Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves Prunus shortwave radios from China Land. He's Iron Man, flying away with the radio man. Shh. Whoa, bring it back. <laughs> you get the idea. Okay, try to have fun with that. All right, it's my little fun for the video. All right, we're gonna zoom on down here and we're gonna do some size comparisons. We already did that. <laughs> we're gonna do some, uh, get some dust off there. Uh, some feature lists. So this thing is laden with features. Oh boy, let's, where are we going to start? Left hand side. Nothing. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> Front. We have a base baffle under the Prunus label. We have about a one and a half inch speaker. It's similar to this speaker, but it has a higher range. Uh, it's not as low end, but it does have a nice mid range to it. And I like the extra highs it's producing. Uh, for buttons on the front, we got delete function for deleting memories and files. It's kind of nice. You got dedicated AM FM band button. Dedicated shortwave button. We got a mode select, so if you're on the radio mode, you can select the MP3 player if you have a SD card inserted. Here's a menu button. When you're on a particular radio band, or if you're, on, you're doing an MP3 player, you'll have different options under the menu. You press and hold, and it accesses the menu. Also, it accesses a repeat function. There's a lot of repeat uh, options there, and we'll talk about it as we use the radio. Of course, your mode has a lockout feature. Power button. Microphone. Now the microphone is an uh, upgraded microphone. It works much better than the originals. Uh, you think this one was pretty good? No, nope, this is much better. This microphone is a better deal. You're going to like that. Up here we have three function keys. You have your forward and your backward for your MP3 player and pause play. This pause play is also a mute for the radio. And this also does uh, functions for browsing the menu and selecting options in the menu. Here you can see you got your traditional numeric keypad for direct entering frequencies, just like the original. Uh, we have a preset function on number five there. Press and hold that, and it will let you add presets, and you can just pick which slot you want to put it into. Here's a go right to your recorded files folder, which is nice. It's a straight shortcut. And, of course, record. So you hit this button when you want to start recording the radio or you want to start recording the line in, which is a really nice setup. We'll talk about the recording in a moment. Right-hand side of the radio, really new additions. Right away, we get a volume wheel. Now, it's still digitally controlled, uh, but it's nice to have a wheel versus the buttons that this had. This had some clunky buttons. You had to click for the volume. I like the addition of a rotary style. That's nice. Also, the big one is memory keys. Yes, this does not have them, and this is such a pain to handle presets and then to go back to normal tuning. You had to delete your presets to do it. Now, with this radio, <laughs> they improved it. They added memory uh, key so you can scan through your presets and these still act as up and down tuning, which is great. I guess I'm going to showcase that also. Micro USB in to charge that BL5C battery, which I'll show you in a moment. On the top, they moved the jacks, the earphone, uh, and the line into the top. I think that's a cool idea actually because they did another feature too, which I'll show you. Um, but I like the idea of these being on top of the radio when it's on a tabletop format or in a recording style format. Very nice. Uh, we have the headphone jack. Headphone experience, expect a lot of highs. I noticed that. Uh, strong mids, kind of weak on the lows, on the bass. Now, when you're playing off the MP3 card, different story, you get a lot of bass because you can change the EQ. It has EQ settings. Here's auxiliary in. This can act as a um, amplified speaker or as a source for recording whatever you're adding to the radio, whatever. I usually use like a like say my executive satellite, hook it up there and I can record the AM off of there because the AM on this radio isn't the greatest. It's the same as the original. <laughs> There's your SD card slot on top there. Nice. Uh, they said 32 gigabytes support. Here's our antenna. This antenna swivels. Yeah, nice. Extend out to 13 and three quarter inches. Good setup. On the back of the radio, we have a kick out stand. Now check that out. This is another upgrade. The original V115 has a goofy little plastic tab you have to use, but this one here has a stand. Look at that. You can stand it up. Loving that stand. That's a nice setup. And of course, I should show you. Underneath there is your battery compartment. So similar to the Radio Wow. Radio Wow does the same thing. 
And I have a basic battery here. Um, I'm not gonna be able to get that out, I don't think, but I'll try. Oh, there we go. Not worried about memories or anything. Uh, there you are, it's a 1200 milliamp hour they're saying. So 3.7 volt, BL5C. And you get that with the radio. So you don't have to buy any batteries right away. That is key. Um, but you know, you can get the XH data batteries. And they're like two for 850, so not bad. I think it just snapped in here. Okay, and close that. Nice. And on the back there has the band information you can expect. Again, FM is uh, 76 to 108. So very cool. There we are. So let's go ahead and talk about FM reception. Then we'll show you the radio in operation. Uh, and we'll talk about more of the recording features. Um, it's very important because this thing is just a monster with a bunch of things you can do with it. Uh, so FM reception report. Um, it found 67 stations. It puts it between good to very good sensitivity. Very impressed with the FM on this radio. Had no issues picking up hardly any stations. The only issue is the antenna being short. Um, other than that, this thing is an FM radio all day long. Um, amazing with uh, headphones. If you're using headphones, you get FM stereo, which sounds fantastic. Forgot to mention that with the headphones. Oh, again, headphones, no low, low, low hiss. So no hiss at all on there. Another bonus I um, want to tell you guys about. But uh, yeah, with the FM uh, radio, you can expect a very good to very good sensitivity and good selectivity. I was really impressed with the FM portion of this radio. The other portions, not so much, but that portion, definitely a winner. Um, so yeah, liking that. And let's see what else we got to talk about. We got that taken care of. Very easy. Um, you guys know that was my five-tier method. Fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Kind of add that later um, after the fact. But typically, most FM radios, like the old school, get about 48 stations. That's a good. That's about a okay to good rating, which is average. This is well above average. So, yeah, good to know that. So, all right. Um, let's see. There's so much to do. Let's turn it on. Power button. Prunus. Five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have so, sacred stone. Let me turn this down. Oh, crazy, Love that. It's right on the rotary there. Um, so this is the MP3 player right now. I'll show you what it says. Let it come into focus. And then we'll do a little sound check. There we go. So you'll see it gives the title track. gives how many files are on the SD card. They're showing SD card play. You notice it says A right there. That means repeat all. If you hit the repeat function, you'll see a change. Repeat one over and over, same song. And you get F, which means repeat all in the same folder. So you can st structure your SD card by folders. So you can have albums. So yeah, all within one folder. And then um, all randomized. And then repeat all. Then there's the EQ setting there. Uh, it says normal. To access that, you press pause, play. And then you can go up and down here. You can change your EQ. And they give you options like normal, pop, rock, changes it ever so slightly, jazz, classic. Funny thing with classic, it goes really bassy <laughs> instead of highs. Country, low bass, which doesn't really add too much bass, but adds a little bit. And normal, I tend to run on normal. And I think that was mainly the options there. Okay, so it has a folder select mode. You can change the different modes. You can hit root. And you can change the different uh, folders. Let's go back. Okay, right there, root. You can go up a level. And you can say I got YouTube music, go up even farther. And you can say I got radio shows, FM recording. I got Superman. Um, and you can see I got different recordings here. So let's go back to YouTube radio. And we'll do a couple uh, play here. Run this for a few minutes, and then we'll start showcasing some other parts of this. Fast forward.
gives you a general idea. Now you can, uh, if you want to record off the microphone, you have to have your SD card put in and it'll start playing, of course. So you just press and hold this. Actually, no, you don't. <laughs> Let me get out of that. Play. Seven, six, five, four, press and hold record. And then we can test the microphone. Now the camera's blocking it. We'll see how it turns out. But it's showing you lapse time and the mic. Now you can set it to three different recording levels. Uh, it has 64 kilobits per second, 96 kilobits per second, and 128 kilobits per second. They're all at 41, 44.1 kilohertz. Um, but the lowest setting, the 64 kilobits per second, is at 22.1 kilohertz frequency range to give you an idea. So we'll go ahead and stop that by hitting record. Test the microphone. Now the camera's blocking it. We'll see how it turns out. But it's showing you lapse time and the mic. Now you can set it to three different recording levels. Uh, it has 64 kilobits per second, 96 kilobits per second, and 128 kilobits per second. They're all at 40 so there you go. It sounds pretty good. Um, liking that. Uh, important to know. Um, when you record off the FM radio, it records FM stereo and uh, a lot of lows, I noticed, for some reason. When it's recorded, um, the recorded FM broadcast, um, the, this radio produces a lot of lows, which is amazing. So if you're recording FM radio, it comes out very well. Um, no noise added to the um, recording. Now, on AM band, it does add some um, squelches like this one did. This one added a little bit of noise to the AM band. So does this. So if you guys have E115, the recording really hasn't changed much uh, in that respect, except for their microphone. Definitely records better. On their microphone so it's just playing this over and over looks like or microphone too i think i did another one nope it's the same same me okay <laughs> so let's go ahead and do some uh let's travel to the shortwave band um press shortwave i'm gonna hook up a little wire here here's a wire we're talking about the shortwave band um it has this is just a little wire like 12 foot wire in my window it doesn't even go outside just to see if we pick up anything. Uh, current time is 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time, and I'm near Chicago, Illinois, if you're wondering. All right, so let's talk about how you tune this radio. So you can, um, cool thing is you can press and hold the pause play, and it's going to search. I found something already. It's going to search the entire band. Good, we're picking up shortwave stations. Nice. We'll pick up 5,000, I'm thinking. There we go. And it's going to save it. And you can see it's got the, the channel memory up there. And like I said, there's 300 shortwave memories, which is amazing. So we'll let this run. And then to navigate it, you just use these side buttons here, the memory up and memory down buttons. So this is just a fantastic radio for that. And you still have your up and down tuning. You don't have to delete them or anything. It's just they really made an improvement there. Huge improvement. I do like that. So we're just going to let this run for just a little bit. We're going to pass around 7,000. Then we'll see what we found on shortwave. Then we'll go to the medium wave band, show you kind of how it operates there. And then uh, we'll do some final thoughts probably on that. Maybe FM if I get a chance. Uh, anything else I'm missing on here? So you saw the repeat functions. This thing does quite a bit. Uh, when you're on the radio, um, you have the options, and we'll go in the menu there once this is done scanning. We are finding quite a few stations. So we'll find 20 so far. We're probably finding some static or some repeats. Like it does five kilohertz before sometimes, then five kilohertz, then right on it. I've had that happen, especially during the day. Uh, daytime shortwave it was good for strong stations, I noticed. Uh, and I found about a dozen or so during the day. Um, so it's a, it's a decent shortwave receiver, believe it or not. Um, you wouldn't think it would be for 16 bucks or less, um, but it does a great job on shortwave. So we're going to go ahead and just stop it here. We'll see what it found. Turn up the volume. Uh, we're going to use these side navigation buttons. You can still tune manually. Which is nice. You can also direct enter frequencies. WWV, I don't know. Colorado there, four pounds. One thing I want to mention, when you change the volume, it adds RFI to it. I don't know what it's doing, but it does add noise. Your attention, please. The Military Auxiliary Radio System Organization, or MARS, will provide announcements on minute 10 of the WWV broadcast 
and minute 50 of the WWVH broadcast. These announcements will provide information to participants regarding the purpose, date, times, and locations of the exercises. Announcements will air two weeks prior to and during each exercise. Please go to www.dobmars.org for more information. And you can mute that. And of course, you can record this too by hitting record. It's kind of nice. Um, so let's go ahead and see what the memory presets found. So yeah, you saw direct entry. Also, if you wanted to save this, you just press and hold five. It'll come up with the channel you want to save in. Let me show you. It's flashing. We can put it in. Let's see. Oh, I got to use these keys. I think it's, it's saved it on one. No biggie. <laughs> so let's go ahead and navigate. I'm going to save it again. Yeah, they stuck it on one. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we found. Five of the mineral fusion back in stock at InfoWarsStore.com. And despite the fact we can't keep it on the shelves, it's 40%. Cuban station. Yeah, when you're, say you're at 7,200. Kind of a little buzz on the shortwave you can hear when you adjust the volume. Okay, so let's go to the AM band. Let's take this antenna off. That real quick, that was fun to do the shortwave. We found some good stations. We're gonna go to AM. Uh, right now we're at 740. Uh, this is cool. This is Zoomer Radio. This is uh, 400, I forget, 460 miles away. Um, CFZM music sounds good. Beautiful. And then you can just take in. You got to wait for the volume thing. I forgot to remember that. But you can, of course, tune manually here. Um I don't think, I think when I took the battery out, let's see if it saved any of my presets. Let's find out. It did. I think it did. Looks like it did. Yep. So save my presets. So excellent. Uh, so let's just go ahead and see if we can pick up some uh, stations. Show you the menu. Press and hold. Yep, auto off. Sleep function. Contrast for the LCD. Backlight time. You can turn the light on and off. I have it off because otherwise my balance, color balance would be off. But you can change that. 15 seconds, 20 seconds, light off or always on. There you go. 10 seconds, 5 seconds. Light always. Why do so many come at night instead of just during the day since they actually want to be 
found by border patrolmen at the menu is because the drug cartels control and then our language record setting and the border so you got your 64 your 96 and 128 Nice. At a schedule Even on quality. Drug Back down to menu. So that they know you're gonna be tied up uh, we got AM stepping. You can change it from 10 or 9K dark. right here. Go back to 10. There we go. We might have eliminated our presets by doing that. And there we go. The yeah, I think it did. By when you switch the settings. Oh no, it's saved. Good, yay. <laughs> Let's go back. I kind of want to, you know what, we don't have to go back. Let's put in uh, some stations I know. Let's go 650, Nashville. So you saw the menu, pretty simple menu. So we got country music on WSM, Nashville, Tennessee. Now expect pretty decent reception in the evening. Uh, I'm pretty surprised by that. Because uh, daytime reception, like I said, was good for locals. Okay on semi-locals. Some distance stations were possible, but I really had to crank the volume. You can tune up here. They've also admitted, yeah, we can do a better job communicating. So our women aren't stretching out on the you know, yoga mats while the men get full facilities to train and work out. Showing elapsed time, still also at the same recording time, icon. They still have hidden under the cover of COVID to delay a decision to actually allow Blocks your volume. athletes to get paid. So you can't change the volume now. Their name, their image, and their likeness. I found if you wanted to do it in quiet, just plug in headphones. <laughs> some type of resolution for last year to train and work out. And there's the recording. I think the NCAA still also at the same time. Uh, they still have hidden under the cover of COVID to delay a decision to actually allow these student athletes to get paid. There you go. Name, All right, let's go back to AM. We're almost done. It's FM. For a closer game. No one wants to see a blowout. No one wants to see an ass kick. And that's 30 years already. And they were not able to go undefeated. And... We expect it to go undefeated. <laughs> WSB, Atlanta, Georgia. Nice. WSB, uh, this is uh, 630 miles. They were not close to being the best team tonight. They were not close to being the best team. In this WGR, one. Detroit, Michigan. If they played 10 times, they would lose the series if this were an NBA series. Baylor is bigger, they're Same stronger, New York. they're physically more mature, and they're really, really skilled. So you, you... I heard right here on WCBS 880, the Mets played their season opener in Philadelphia. Jacob DeGrom picked six scoreless innings and left leading two zips, but the bullpen wasn't able to hold it. The Phillies swept five runs in the eighth innings to win it five to three. So there you go, WCBS, I heard her say it. This is New York, New York, 750 miles. So this radio can do that. Awesome. <laughs> All right, uh, I think we're going to turn it off. Oh, because there's tons of stations. I think, what's the other one? Uh, KOA, sometimes we get it. Okay, we're just picking up KOA, Denver, Colorado, 890 miles. All right, cool. Had to do that. Let's go ahead and just power this off. We'll do final thoughts. Uh, so, yes, the Prunus J401. Should you consider it over the original uh, TIVDO V115? Um, for me, yes. Uh, I really, really enjoy these memory buttons. Um, you can save the presets now, use these buttons to navigate, or you can use the front buttons, and you can still tune the radio manually uh, which is fantastic. This one, you cannot do that. Um, that is, that's a big selling point for me. Uh, it's a little chunkier of a radio, but I don't mind that. I'm, I actually like the fact it stands. I love the fact it has a, t you know, backstand, a normal one that flips out and you can set up however you want it. 
Uh, that's also very awesome. And of course, uh, I like the key accommodations. That's really nice. Uh, improved microphone. That's a big deal because sometimes you can't have an auxiliary in. You can just put the microphone near the radio and start recording. Again, the microphone sounds very good. I'm very impressed with that because the V115, this microphone I think really was horrible. Uh, it was no good. Um, did not like that. I do like the volume control uh, on a rotary. Even though you have to wait for it to lock in the setting, uh, I still like that setup. Um, so yeah, definitely worth the money. If you're in the market for a V115, get the 401 instead. I think you'll be happier in the long haul. It just, you saw how it performed. It does a fantastic job. I'm happy. Maybe we'll spend some time with some scans, see what else we can find. But the overall Prunus 401 gets a recommended buy for me, definitely. When it's at $16 price point, $15 price point, you can't beat it. It's, uh, it's just a well-made radio, put together nicely, boxed nicely, everything I like about it. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, awesome. Give me a big like, you the best. Two, like Prunus Radios, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future reviews of these awesome devices. And three, comment below what you think about the new Prunus J401. Is this one for you? Do you already have this radio here? Do you want to upgrade? Do you want to see what this is all about? Um, let me know. Kind of curious what you guys have to say. Alrighty, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.